three hours of a bus ride from Kaobong. We have reached Ban Gyok region um, and uh, I was, uh, I'm, I'm heading to a homestay and uh, the people that led me to this homestay are my uh, Vietnamese friends and who, who are now going to Sapat Lokai so we're actually doing a separate different direction they're going uh, the east I'm sorry they're going west and I'm going uh, east so I'm quite dyslexic about directions about my left or right so I do have a um, compass tattooed on my wrist and it is so beautiful here still in a, uh, in a little town so I'm excited to meet the owner of the new homestay it's called the Meilin homestay so I, I finally arrived here in uh, Ban Gyok uh, to see the waterfall yes Ban Gyok yeah Ban Zok waterfall Ban Zok waterfall and yeah. this is Meilin and she is the owner of Meilin homestay so if you get to be here and in this province in this spot and in this area you can find her and I'm gonna put a link on this video as well and uh, yeah today uh, they're doing a little bit of a celebration for the last day of Tet holiday so they are actually gonna be doing a roast pork quite really raw this is how they do it here uh, in the province and uh, I can't wait to have a copy right here on this spot There are some uh, locals that turned their home to homestays, which is really nice. It's like a little village here in the middle of mountains, and uh, you can actually feel the rawness of, of uh, being close with nature. walking along the highway um, I spotted a very nice spot a river and uh, I just want to show you guys it's so beautiful and this is just the highway right there <laughs> 